Auditory blending is important for the children who struggle to hear the word after the letter sounds have been spoken. For example, when hearing d o g, a child might respond by saying dad or dig or just shrug and say I don't know. The ability to hear that word dog doesn't come easily to some children. It needs to be taught and the following activities help children develop this auditory blending skill. It may be necessary to do this with one child at a time. Blending with pictures. Now start with pictures of objects like these, which have two or three sounds in them, like ant, cow, car or church. Then imagine you have a child sitting opposite you and put the pictures down, two of the pictures down in front of them and say, what are they? And hopefully you'll get cow and car. And then you say, listen, which one is the k -r? And with luck, the child will get that and they can keep that. This reduces the auditory skill to its simplest form. I have not known a child unable to do this, although I imagine it is possible. Then do it several times with two more pictures. Here we've got bed, cat. Which one is the b -e -d? And again, hopefully you get the child to call that out. When they're good at this, then go to three pictures. And then maybe four pictures. This stretches the activity and makes that a little bit harder. Alternatively, you could play the game, guess the picture. And this is when you hold the picture and say to the child, or the children, several can do this, in my hand is a sh -e -p. And whoever gets it, gets the card. In my hand is a house. A house. Well done. And a at. Very good and so on. Advice about obtaining pictures for activities like these can be found in the resources section on the home page. Now auditory blending could equally be carried out with objects in a bag. So this time you say, in my bag I've got some objects. What is it that I'm holding in my hand? I have got a book. And if the child says book, well done, very good. And now I've got a Fork. Fork? Yes, very good. And k o m. Very good. And so on. If pictures or objects were not available, then use a picture of a scene in a book and say the sounds for something in the picture. Keep to short words. Or else play, I hear with my little ear a word. What is it? F o x. That's right, fox. What's this one? I hear with my little ear a word. B -a -s. Bus. Well done. Once the children can hear the word when someone else says the sounds, then the aim is for them to hear the word when they say the sounds, which of course is word blending. Word blending practice using the focus letter sounds is always important. It helps to reinforce the learning of the two focus letter sounds as well as improve the skill of blending. And in this case, words with the focus sounds A and J in them. Now the words could be on a board like this. So we've got P, A, N, pain, F, A, O, fail, L, A, D, laid, or J, et, jet, J, O, B, job, J, A, K, et, jacket. Encourage the children to actually say the word straight away after that. Pain, fail, laid, jet, job, jacket. So they really have an idea of what is expected of them. Or you can have them on letter sound cards, as you've seen before. The A will be on yellow and the J will be on blue. So you look for the yellow and blue cards in the box and then you can then put them in the middle of the table like this and ask the children to pick up a card and blend the letter sounds. So this child might pick this one up, work it out and say paint. Very good, keep it. This one might pick it one up, work it out, jam, jam, well done. When the game is stopped, count the number of words they read correctly. 
Or alternatively, the children could be given three words each. They work out the words and when it is their turn, they say the words, preferably straight away, without having to blend them again. So, nail, jungle, if they might have to blend, tail, tail, main, jam, faint, pain, junk, a. Some children find it difficult to blend words that start with two or three consonants, such as these. They go st, a, n, and then they can't hear the word. Now, if they could learn to blend the two consonants and say it in one go, st, a, n, they find it much easier to hear the word. It's the same with br, a, n, brain. is much easier than going b, r, a, n, brain. It helps these children to practice blending just the consonants that are used at the beginning of many words. So consonants like this, blend them, kl, sn, sk, st, spr, so that when they do come to words that have got that consonant, two consonants at the beginning, they can go tr, a, n, and that's much easier for them to read train, or sp, a, n, Spain, kl, a, n, claim. Well worth doing. Occasionally, there is a child who has an auditory memory that is so short that when he or she has said the last sound, when blending the word, the first sound has been forgotten. So with the word like leg, they would go all, e, g, and then they will have, by the time they say the g, the all will have been forgotten. And this is a huge handicap. Fortunately, it is very unusual. A child with this problem can be helped by using the following activity. Encourage the child or children to blend just a consonant and a vowel. Now luckily this activity is also useful for developing fluency and blending. So it is good for all the children in the group. And here the aim is to practice snapping the consonant and vowel. So they have to go ja, je, J, J, J. Of course, you have it round their way. Pa, pe, pe, po, pa. Sa, se, si, so, sa. And a bit of chanting like this helps to develop this skill. Then drop a few that are printed on cards. And each child has to pick up one and then go pa. And if they get it correct, then they get it, they, they keep it. Mo. Ya. If a child picks it up and goes, d, i, d, you say, well, that, that's right, but you didn't do it in one go. You need to go d straight away. Put it back and choose another one. Later, when the group is good at blending the consonant and vowel, then progress to blending the consonant blend and vowel. As you can see here, we have a blend at the beginning before the vowel. So they've got to get that snap together and add the vowel. Bre, fra, fle, dra, gra. For the next activity, write a list of words that have got the a and j in them. They can be handwritten like these or on the computer. Now, for choosing the words, the word bank is useful because here you can go and find the A words and choose which ones you want or the J. And you know they are reliable because they'll have the A and letter sounds that have been taught beforehand so that you know it will be reliable for the children to blend. Now, you might wonder about this font when writing on the computer. The font used with these printed words is the Sassoon font. And there are details about the Sassoon font and the word bank in the resources section on the home page. Each child is given a list. And this list of words can be read individually, or they can do it in pairs, or all together. And they can take it home so that the parents or guardians can go through the words with them and listen to them reading the words. And you might encourage the parents to ask them to give a tick every time it is read correctly. And this is rewarding and encourages that blending until it becomes really fast. And the aim, of course, is in the end they should just read the words. 
aim, sail, paid, main, pigtail, jog, jog, jet, jam, jump, jump. Of course, the list would only go home if a child was able to blend words. The aim is to bring fluency to the blending and to practice the specific letter sounds that are being focused on in this session. And this would be a good time to add the A and J to each child's letter sound box, if that was appropriate.